In this example problem, we'll use our straight line graph of concentration and time for a first order reaction to determine our integrated rate law, differential rate law, and half life. Our problem reads data from the reaction BC produces products is plotted below. For part A, calculate the concentration of BC at 60 seconds. For part B, calculate the rate of reaction at 60 seconds. For part C, calculate the first half-life for the reaction. And for part D, calculate the time it will take for the reaction to reach 90% completion. First we'll calculate our concentration of BC at 60 seconds. Since the natural log of BC plotted verse time is a straight line, this is a first order reaction with respect to BC. Our integrated rate law for a first order reaction would say that the natural log of our concentration of BC at time t is equal to negative k, which is our rate constant, times time, plus the natural log of our initial BC concentration. From the graph, we can get our slope, which is equal to negative k. Calculating our slope, it's negative 2.47, subtract negative 1.25, which is our rise, divided by 24.4, subtract 0, which is the run, and it's equal to negative 0.05. Also from the graph, we can see that our y-intercept is equal to the natural log of our initial BC concentration and the y-intercept is negative 1.25. We can plug these into our integrated rate law and solve for time t equals 60 seconds. We'll get our natural log of BC at 60 seconds is equal to negative k, which is negative 0.05 times 60 seconds, subtract 1.25, which is our y-intercept, and that's equal to negative 4.25. To get rid of the natural log, we can take e to the power of both sides. Our concentration of BC at 60 seconds is equal to e to the negative 4.25, which is 0 0.0143 molar. Next, we'll calculate the rate of reaction at 60 seconds. Since this is a first order reaction, Rate is equal to K times our concentration of BC. Our concentration of BC at 60 seconds, which we already calculated, is 0 0.0143 molar. And our rate constant is equal to the negative of our slope, or positive 0 0.05. Plugging these into our differential rate law, we get rate equals 0 0.05 times 0 0.0143 which is equal to 7.13 times 10 to the negative fourth molar per second. Next, we'll calculate the first half-life for the reaction. Our equation for the half-life of a first-order reaction is T1 half equals the natural log of 2, or 0.693, divided by K, our rate constant. This comes out to be 12.8 seconds. Since this is a first-order reaction, every half-life is 12.8 seconds. Next, we'll calculate the time it takes for the reaction to reach 90% completion. We can use our integrated rate law to calculate this time. And when our reaction is 90% complete, we'll have just 10% of our initial concentration of BC left over or 0.1 times our initial concentration. To find our initial concentration, we know the natural log of the initial concentration is equal to our y-intercept, which is negative 1.25. So to get rid of the natural log and solve for our initial concentration of BC, it's e to the negative 1.25, or 0.287 molar. So we want to find when our concentration of BC is 10% of this initial concentration, or 0 0.0287 molar. We can plug this value in to our integrated rate law, so we have the natural log of our concentration at time t, when we have just 10% left, equals 
negative k times time subtract 1.25. If we solve for time, we get the natural log of 0 0.0287 plus 1.25 divided by negative 0 0.05, which is 46.1 seconds. So at 46.1 seconds, our reaction will be 90% complete.